Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekak Wadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Citations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the 130 of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Hey, we're going to get right into it, bro. <laughs> this is Pistols and it's entitled, uh, What if Elder Apostle Tahar knocked on your door? You know, and this is like a, a dream that I had last night because it happened to me last night in this dream, bro. And it was so real. Yeah, man. So I wanted to bring it out, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shai. Got an epistle, you know, look, looking at everything through spiritual lenses. Got an epistle out of this, out of this dream. So, uh, you know, late deep sleep time, you know, um, Elder Apostle Tahar knocked on the door, bro. I didn't know it was him when I opened the door and he was, it was just him. You know, all by himself. So it was just him and me, and I invited him in. And, um, you know, um, you know, right now, Yahweh Shemashai, he gives us what what we need, and he removes things out of our lives that we, we don't need, you know, so we can be focused on the word of Yahweh Shemashai, you know, cleaning us, up, cleaning us up, Lord willing, you know, um, gold trout in the fire and everything. So, you know, right at this time, I don't have a helpmate, but the Lord has moved all of that, all of those distractions out of my way, right? So there's no reason, um, I want to say, you know, there's kind of almost no excuse. Place is not the best, in the best shape. As you can see, you know, if you look over on, over my shoulder over here, that table could be cleaned up a little bit. And that's the way, it, that's the state it, it was, you know, when Elder Positar walked around. And he was like looking at me like, and I was like, I got a little nervous that, you know, like, you know, cause it's, you know, it's, it's like uh, a little not embarrassed, embarrassed, but like just a feeling that you could do better. You know, you could do better by staying more organized. And I'm a brother that uh, I know that everything has its place, and every place has its has its thing. Something like that. You know, every place, everything has its place. And I try to keep things organized. But you know, uh, lately with all these, uh, you know, this you know, just a, a bunch of a. Uh, spiritual battles and everything sometimes you get a little tired man and we're going to bring out this epistle through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shai because uh looking at that dream through the spirit what if Elder Positar knocked on your door or any of the brothers or sisters you know what state would your place be in what state would you be in you know uh and then even more Yahweh Shema Shai you know and that's what we got. We got a few scriptures right here, you know, speaking about Yahweh Shemashah being in the midst of Israel. And we're going get, to get it right into it. Lord willing, it's going to be edifying and exhorting. Okay, brothers and sisters? So let's get right into it. As you see right here, I got pulled up here. I got uh, Deuteronomy. Shit, that did it again. Hold on, man. Let me fix, let me fix this, this screen. There we go. So we can see the whole scripture right there yeah so this is deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 13 um i want to go back a little bit i got this pulled up in the in the blue letter uh, no i got it pulled up in the uh in the good news translation let's 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 let's, let's read it in the good news translation real quick okay but it's deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 13 and i got it right here bro Let's start from verse 9. When you are in camp in time of war, you know, we know we're in a spiritual, spiritual, spiritual battle right now. You know, in Esau's kingdom, waiting on you, how about to come and deliver us out of, this, out of this devil's hand. When you are in the camp in time of war, you are to avoid anything that would make you ritually unclean. If a man becomes unclean because he has had a wet dream during the night, he is to go outside the camp and stay there. You know, toward evening, he is to wash himself, and at sunset he may come back into the camp. Now, bro, I want to point out also that you know we're just now we're rehearsing the righteous acts, looking Lord, you know, being covered by the blood of the Lamb. You know, just rehearsing the righteous acts, not trying to be over righteous or overly wicked, but let you know as Yahweh Shemashah say, let everything be done decently and in order. And we're coming back to you, Yahweh Shemashah, to the best of our abilities. Okay. Um. It says, you are to have a place outside the camp 
this is verse 12. You are to have a place outside the camp where you can go. Hold on, let me turn this off, man. We don't need no, we don't need no damn music in the background on this, this epistle here. You are to go, you are to have a place outside the camp where you can go when you need to relieve yourself, okay? This is the point we want to make right here. Verse 13, carry a stick as part of your equipment so that when you have a bowel movement, you can dig a hole and cover it up. Okay, look, check it out. How about you, I say, when you gotta use the bathroom, you know, don't be like the brute beast just leaving your shit all over the place in a, in a big camp. So the Lord was always just like children, you know, making sure we understand the right way to do things, you know, being that, that holy, noble people, man. You know, how about Shemashai giving us these laws it's spoken about in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 4. Right? Keep your camp ritually clean. Oh, wait, wait. Let me let me jump back up to 13. Salaki. It says, carry a stick as part of your equipment so that when you have a bowel movement, you can dig a hole and cover it up. Keep your camp ritually clean because the Lord, this is the point I want to make, because the Lord, your God, is with you in your camp to protect you and to give you victory over your enemies. Then it says, check it out, bro. Check this out. Do not do anything indecent that would cause the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, to turn his back on you, my man. That's the point I want to make. Do not do anything indecent that would cause the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, to turn his back on you, bro. Okay. So back in the day, back, you know, we were supposed to cover up our shit and keep our, keep our place tidy and clean and neat, you know. Um, and when the elder apostle Tahar was there in that dream, bro, I was like, he just gave me that look like, what the fuck is this? You know, what do you, what do you, what do you know? Because, you know, you, you've seen the movies or, or a place, you know, you got a bachelor crib or something. And somebody come over and the guy has to hustle to put every damn thing up, try to clean up a little bit quick. Why is he doing that? Because it's out of order. You know, you got to clean off a space for the couch for him, stuff like that. And it doesn't have to be that way, bro. And I just want to make mention of that. So let's get into it, man. Let's go back to the scriptures up here that we got on the screen. Lord willing, it's going to be, you know, quick and exhorting straight to the point. This is the book of... Um, Joel chapter 2 verse 27 and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and I'm the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed right yeah how about Shemashah is in the midst of Israel man we, 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 we've been awakened you know so make sure you know uh, even though the dream was about Elder Apostle Tahar but even more even more so yeah how about Shemashah the angels all around us all the time bro watching what we do what we say just be aware of that in this time you know because we're getting dead man it's close man there's a reason there's a reason for everything bro okay and i've been getting these, these uh these little feelings man these like it's very close man to to, to shit happening bro okay this is the book of zephaniah there's another little quick epistle i wanted to make lord willing i got this thing let me see if i can find this thing i just want to make mention of it real quick do i have it here yeah i got it right here let me see if i can bring it up real quick just to make mention of this, because I want to do a little short epistle on this. That's why the other day when um, Vegas sit down made, uh, they had an epistle. Something about, talking about the famine of the word. Now look, pretty much every time I do an epistle and I bring it up to upload it onto the, onto the YouTube, every time I get this, oops, something went wrong and I have to try to reload it again. Right. So, so much so that I actually took a picture of it so I could make an epistle about this thing, man. OK. You know, the famine of the word very, very soon, man, man. Lord willing, you know, the prophecy being fulfilled. Because what what is this? This is 2023, the hopeful year that all these prophecies be fulfilled. Right. And one of the prophecies is the famine of the word, bro. OK. This is the book of uh, Zephaniah. Chapter one, verse 12, and it shall come to pass. At that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. We're talking about the 144 hopeful elect and 130 of Israel. You know, the children of Israel have, have waken up to the, to the, you know, Israel, you know, Israelites. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go. Let's take a step back now. Because the book, in the book of Daniel, it speaks about uh, many shall be, many shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting shame and contempt, right? So, and it shall come to pass that. At that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles, okay? And punish the men that are settled on their leads, okay? That said in the heart, the Lord would not do good, neither will he do evil. So this is not talking about the 144 hopeful elect, but we're hoping to be a part of that number, okay? 
You know, because we understand you have a Shema Shah, the 144, they're covered by the blood of the Lamb. And the Lord's going to put the Spirit on them to do the things that are pleasing to Him, okay? But the the the, the ones that's, that's not, you know, that's been called but not chosen, you know, they're going to be settled on their leaves, bro. Thinking that, thinking everything all right, say the Lord would not do good, and neither will He do evil. You know, just being a, a ninja with fringes, so to speak, okay? So look, one more time. Ze Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 12 and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem people before it's a place with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leads that say in their heart the Lord would not do good neither will he do evil see because the 144 hopeful elect we're not we're not once it's the, the, the doubt you have about Shah, the power you have about Shah, and say he's not going to do good or evil because uh, Lord willing man I've got this other epistle and I, you know, I had to put this one first because it was the dream, but I have another epistle and I also want to do a response to that um, everything must go epistle. You know, we're not saying because we, we have the mind of Yahweh Shema Shah. We believe the report. OK, so we know that Yahweh Shema Shah. We're not going to be saying the Lord would not do good. Neither will he do evil. OK, but the Lord is searching Jerusalem with candles. So we on our P's and Q's over here, bro. And that's what this epistle is going into. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 41. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation, right? The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, we know. We've been going through it, bro. This, this, these these, uh, these uh, trials of our faith, you know, these light afflictions, these battles that we're going through, uh, damn demons and stuff fucking with us, Esau doing his wickedness. Hold on. Let me do this thing right here. This is the book of Daniel. Chapter, uh, Daniel chapter, what chapter is this? Hold on, man. I can't see because that thing wide. It's a lucky. Is it four? Daniel 7, it's a lucky. 7 chapter, Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. Uh, let me get out of the way. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Right, we, man, we're getting them from all sides, you know. What does scripture say? We're, we're, we're afflicted, you know. Let's, let me see if I can find that scripture real quick. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, given us, given us the spirit to recover, you know, to continue to come to him, to continue to grow in this, in this, in this, in this word of truth, in the, in the faith, being well-rooted and grounded, and that's what it's all about, believing the report, you know. Let's see. Is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse eight. So let's finish this off. And he shall speak great words against the most high and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws. And, and they shall be given into his hands to, to a time and times and a dividing of times. Right. We're in the hands of Esau Edom, man. And he's he's doing all this wickedness all around us, just like um, Lot vexed with the filthy conversation. So all this stuff we got to be battling all the time, bro. This is the book of First Corinthians, or Second Salaki, Second Corinthians, chapter four, verse eight. Uh, we are troubled on every side, right? Well, let's let's jump back up, verse seven. Uh, this verse six, bro, Salaki. For Yahweh Shema Shai, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts. Okay, to give. The light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh Shema Shah into the face of Yahweh Shah. But we have this treasure in earthly vessels, bro. Right. We're just we're just mortal in this in this flesh right here until Yahweh Shema Shah changed these vile bodies. Right. But we have this treasure. We have this this good news. We have this hope of salvation. We have the understanding. We have the, the truth in this earthly vessels. But we have this treasure in earthly vessels. That the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh Shema Shah and not of us. Right. We got to go, you know, of course, not to, you know, that thorn in the flesh. We understand that everything is of Yahweh Shema Shah. We're not no big headed children around around here. We're not proud. We're not over, not over righteous nor overly wicked. You know, that, that, that bride adorning herself for the return of Yahweh Shema Shah. Understanding, you know, we're going to get it in a minute. Yahweh Shema Shah has given us, you know, this truth. He's let it be known what is pleasing to him. We're gonna get, I can't wait to get it. We're going to get it in a minute. 
We are troubled on every side and not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Okay, always bearing about in the body and the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shah that the life also of Yahweh Shah might be made manifest in our bodies. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shah's sake, that the life also of Yahweh Shah might be made manifest in our mortal flesh, bro. Okay? So then, death worketh in us, but life in you. Right, man. So we, we going through it. We going through some things. You know, this devil, you know, trying to wear out the saints. So once again, you know, being afflicted, but we catching, uh, catching hell on every side. But we, we to stand strong, you know, and put off the weak nature, you know, and continue to endure. And just examine ourselves constantly and, and, be, and uh, Lord willing, get better and better, stronger and stronger, you know, until that great day of the Lord return. This is the book of uh, Luke, chapter 10, verse 20. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice, uh, hold on, let's, let's jump up some. Verse 19, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you okay notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven so you know understanding this Yahweh Shema Shah has given us this this uh, treasure in earthly vessels and through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shah man we're able to you know uh, um, uh, raise the dead you know if someone you know come about come about one of these children, you know, the the, uh, the Valley of Dry Bones, waking up to this truth that we're the Israelites. We plant that seed, man. You're waking up. Hey, through the spirit of the power of Yahweh, Shema Shai, get the hell up. You know, you are not no Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian. Wake it up. Wake up, bro. You're the Israelites. We're the Lord's chosen people. Now repent. <laughs> you know, repent, man. So, um, and then uh, these scoffers and mockers, you know, Yahweh Shema cut them motherfuckers down. Burn them down. Burn them with the word of Yahweh Shema Shai. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shemashai. Casting out these demons and stuff, rebuking them. Hey, get behind me, Satan. You know, I know, like yesterday, I was trying to do an epistle. Lord willing, be able to bring it out later on today. And um, I was just about to get it, get it because of uh, I was watching the uh, the elders apostles, and they said something that sparked an epistle in me. And uh, I was I was putting it together, and and lo and behold, I got a telephone call. You know with this uh you know by my demon you know once again you have a shima shot give us what we need you know i still you know got i'm not a, alone alone but the lord you know somebody i got somebody to come around but she's not no damn help mate because look in the place <laughs> but anyway she called me with a bunch of damn worldly problems and shit and i listened to a few minutes of it and i told her i gotta go man i said i gotta I ain't about listening to that shit you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll help you whatever, whatever you need, you know, but other than that, let me go. And I, when I hung up, I was like, that's the devil right there trying to distract me from the, from the, from the, uh, on the, from the, uh, getting that epistle together. Um, so we're always fighting, you know, um, and I, you know, notwithstanding in this rejoice, not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So the Lord has made all these things known to us, uh, that we're in a spiritual War, warfare bro we're in spiritual battle and what did they say knowing is half the battle i just want to make mention of that because it is true knowing is half the battle and you have by shema shah let these things be known to us check it out let's read this one more time before we move on behold i give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions these damn two-thirds and over all the and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall be by any means hurt you because what he did, you know, if the Lord be with us, who, who can be against us, bro? You know, we understand coming to the understanding that this is Yahweh Hashem Hashem's program right here, bro. You know, there's not a sparrow that falls out of the sky without the Lord's consent. You see what I'm talking about, man? That's 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 having understanding, wisdom and knowledge and power and pray. Watch and pray, watch and pray, watch and pray. Yahweh Hashem Hashem blessed us, give us charge, gave, give us, you know, pray to the Lord that he give us angels charge over us. You know, all these things Yahweh Shema Shah has given us are tools, man. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And we're hoping and praying to be a part of that 144 elect number, bro. Going to the book of um, Colossians, chapter 3, verse 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect, okay, of Yahweh Shema Shah, holy, that means separate and pure, bro. Ain't nobody running around here, 
You know, we 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 being doers of the word, not hearers only. Ain't nobody running around here being unequally yoked with non-believers. No, mark them that cause division. Okay, rebuke them sharply so they be sound in the faith. The, our meat is to do the will of Yahweh Shema Shai. Should we obey? We should obey God rather than man. Oh no, we not here over here being no damn man pleasers and shit, being in no unity camp and all that stuff, or or you know trying to be sympathetic. With the damn two third unbeliever, because we understand that Yahweh Shema is the one that blinded the minds of them that believe not. Okay, so we putting on as the elect, you know, that the Israel of the Most High, bro. And we don't have to, we don't have to um, trim our ways to seek love. Okay, understanding that, just truly understanding the will and the power of Yahweh Shema bro. It's a real blessing. Okay, so we putting on as the elect, and uh, humble, humble, of course. And it's telling you, telling us right here, bro. Put on as the elect as we have about Shemashah. Not being overly proud, not being overly wicked like we spoke about, like we always speak about, as we see these other guys doing. I'm the house of David. I'm the house of David. Or, you know, they're the, they're the original apostles, you know, coming back. Holy beloved. <laughs> Bowels of mercy, bro. Kindness, humbleness of mind. You see? Meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Yahweh Shah forgave you, so also do ye. Above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Okay, let not the peace of Yahweh Shema Shah, let not, let, and let, Salaki, and let the peace of Yahweh Shema Shah rule in your hearts, my man. To the which also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful. That's what we're talking about, man. Be thankful for this word of truth. Understanding what we're involved in. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Okay? This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 4. O happy Israel are we, for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Shemasha are made known unto us, bro. That's right, man. It's plain, right there. O happy, O Israel, happy are we, for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Shemasha are made known to us, my man. So look. Proverbs. I got to open this thing up a little bit, bro. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit. There. I'm going to bring it over. There we go. This way. There you go. Just like that. Proverbs. So look, let's, let's start it up here. My son, forget not my law from cover to cover, but let thine heart keep my commandments, the laws of life, for length of days and long life and peace Peace, bro, shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck and write them upon the table of thine heart. Right. This is the time to really put on as the elect. This is the time to go all in with, for your Habba Shema Shah, bro. You know, forsaking all. Understanding what we're involved in. Understanding who Esau is. The, the, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Esau, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Understanding his wicked agenda. That it, it has to happen this way. You know, he's the one. You know he's the adversary. He's gotta, he's gotta come up with that. He got that that wicked scheme, that wicked plot has to be, you know, uh, introduced and 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 uh, put out there so Yahweh Shema Shai come and can deliver us, so we can understand good and evil. And that's another, you know, I got this that another uh, epistle from you know the meditating on that man last night. It was something else too, bro. I can't wait to bring that out. Lord willing, I'll be able to do that too, man. But you look, know, understanding all these things, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. This hundred percent truth. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Right? Because we, we're coming out now being that separate, holy, away from everything that, you know, being reborn. Coming out just totally separate, uh, uh, away from everybody and everything. You know, mentally. You know, Yahweh Hashem HaShah said, I wish that you would not take them out of the world, but you keep them away from the evil. But we're still right here surrounded with the filthy conversation of the wicked. But we're, we're working through it, bro. Constantly growing and growing in the faith, constantly getting stronger and stronger with this 100% truth, understanding, you know, having that understanding. Get wisdom, get knowledge, but with, thy, with all that getting, get understanding, bro. You know, it's beautiful, bro. And Yahweh Shem has given us apostles, he's given us uh, pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, till we all come to the, to the perfection, you know, to the perfection of the understanding, bro. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing. You know, and it starts with the elders, Apostle Great Millstone, and all the brothers on the umbrella, bro. You know, just bringing it out, us being washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth on the daily. Uh, so, 
Now, this is the point I wanted to make right here. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So we would, you know, being doers of the word, so thou shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh Shem Hashem and man. Because we, this is what we're looking for, to find favor with the creator of all things, with the one that killeth and maketh alive, you know, with the one that wounds and heals, trying to find favor with the one that maketh rich and maketh poor, with the one, with the one that uh, ruleth in the kingdom of man, okay, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is his name. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, bro. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shem Hashem, with all thine heart, and lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths, okay? Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil, bro. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones, okay? Man, you see that, bro? Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, Yahweh Shem Hashem, and depart from evil. So, you know, going back to that dream... And I felt that way if, you know, Elder Apostle Tahar knocked on the door right now. Shit, I'd be like, damn, man, I could have did this. I could have did that. How much more so, Yahweh about Shem Al Shai, bro? Okay? How much more so the angels that's watching everything every day? Okay? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, Yahweh about Shem Al Shai, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So going back to that Baruch. O oh, happy Israel, O oh, Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to you, how about Shemashah are made known to us. So then what? We want, hey, we want, we want to, we want to be, we want you, how about Shemashah to show favor to us, bro. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 11. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of afflictions. Okay? That's what we're talking about, man. You have Hashem Hashem said, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. We're talking about, we're going into the time of Jacob's trouble, bro. We, we're going into the time of great judgment upon the earth. Um, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. You know, the devil's coming down unto you having great wrath, you know, because he knows that he have but a short time. So we need all the, the love and support and favor, you know, that we can get from Yahweh Hashem and the 144 elected 130 of Israel are going to receive that so we're going to put on that as the elect and we got it right here james chapter 1 verse 21 wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul and i got this james pulled up right here now we talk we know this talking about uh, uh the the doctrine you know make sure that you're you know speaking the correct thing and and you have the mind of your how about shema shai you're not um uh, Going off. Hold on. I done did, I'm trying to make this thing bigger. Let me just leave it alone. Let's read this right here in the blue in the uh, in the good news translation. I got James. Was it one? Let's start at 19. Remember this, my dear friends. So I got it in the in the good news trans translation, and we're gonna close it out. I think. We might have one more scripture to bring out. Remember this, my dear friends. Everyone must be quick to listen, but slow to speak and slow to become angry. Human anger does not achieve Yahweh Shemashah's righteous purpose. So get rid of every filthy habit. This, the, this, the, this is the 21 right here. So get rid of every filthy habit and all wicked conduct. Submit to Yahweh Shemashah and accept the word that he plants in your heart, which is able to save your soul, my man. Being washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth, understanding, you know, to be doers of the word. Now, here's only applying these laws of life to our lives, you know, being better, getting better and better, well-rooted and grounded in the faith, believing more and more, okay? Do not deceive yourself by just listening to his words. Instead, put it into practice. If you listen to the word, but do not put it into practice, you are like, People who look in a mirror and see themselves as they are, they take a look, a good look at themselves and then go away and at once forget what they look like. But if you look closely into the perfect law that sets people free, you keep paying attention to it and do not simply listen and then forget it, but put it into practice. You will be blessed 
by Yahweh Hashem Hashem and what you do. Do any of you think you are religious? If you do not control your tongue, your rebellion, so like your religion is worthless and you, re you deceive yourself. What Yahweh Hashem Hashem the Father considers to be pure and genuine religion is this, to take care of orphans and widows in their suffering and to keep oneself from being corrupt by the world, bro. Yeah. We got to keep ourselves uh, decently and in order as well. You know. And we read that scripture in the book of Deuteronomy. That was that was something, man. So the same way, you know, Yahweh Shemashah is in the midst of Israel. Just like, uh, you know, if one of the brethren would come by. Uh, you don't want to have to be running around trying to get your shit together. Same way with Yahweh Shemashah. You always want to. Be ready so you don't have to get ready. And this time, Yahweh Hashem is going to come like a thief in the night. And it's more so, you know, a mental thing, bro, as well. But once you have everything decently in order, it's just easier, you know, to, uh, I don't know. It just makes everything easy. I just, I just, it was just that dream, bro. That, I don't know, maybe, you know, if another brother knows, see, see something else coming out of that dream, you know, please put it on the comment board or, or you know, say something, man. If you can see more, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, Elder Apostle Tahar just knocked on the door and he walked around and, uh, you know, I could have had the place a little bit more tidy. I could have been doing more for the ministry, you know. Um, so, being returned, seek the Lord ten times more. I want to get this last scripture and we're going to close it out with this. I'm just going to probably read it off the phone. No, we're going to get, we go, we'll put it up there on the screen. Uh, okay. We're going to go here in the book of Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiasticus, Salaki, in the Apocrypha. Chapter 23, verse 19. Uh, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, ten thousand times brighter than the sun beholding all the ways of men and consider it the most secret parts okay exactly man you got to watch out you about shimashah is watching everything we do and this is the time remember that scripture we brought out how the yahabba shimashah is going to search jerusalem with candles okay such a man only feareth the eyes of man and knoweth not that the eyes of the lord yahabba shimashah ten thousand times brighter than the sun beholding all the ways of men and consider it the most secret part okay so with that, we're gonna we're gonna close it out, man. Even with the, uh, we be trying to convey these words to the best of our abilities, bro. And just in this mortal flesh, just trying to do the the best we can, man. With the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah, the Lord has given us. So Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting. I wanna give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rikakwadash. I wanna give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the hundred percent truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopefully elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all.